Hello. I feel like shit. And it's all because of two words that a customer said to me yesterday. And I'm really angry at myself for letting it bother me. And I'm really angry at her for having the audacity to say something that has made me feel this way. Uh, and I don't know what to do to shift the way I'm feeling. Essentially, I was working yesterday talking to Taylor, my cousin's son, who came in, um, and we were joking around about cake, and I asked him what his favourite type of cake was. He said it was strawberry, and I just went, I like any kind of cake. Because A, I do, and B, it keeps kids amused when you say things like that. One of my customers was in. I, she's not a regular. I've never seen her before. I never want to see her again. And she was walking back from the toilet as I said this. And looked at me. Poked my belly. And just went, mm, no wonder. I, I mean, I still don't know what to say. I wish I'd thought of something to say to her. But I literally couldn't. I sat there looking at my aunt who was next to me. Just We just stared at each other with our mouths agape. And at first it was quite funny. And I, you know, I went and told mum and I told a couple of other customers because it was just audacious and rude. And, and then I went into the kitchen and I cried a lot. I just... There's just certain things you don't comment on to complete strangers, to your friends, let alone complete strangers. Weight, someone's size, their ability to have children, their parenting choices. You don't need to have an opinion on other people's aspects of those things. And you certainly don't need to comment on them to people that you don't know. And it really upset me because I think I got it in my head that if a complete stranger feels the need to comment on your weight or make a comment about your weight and size, then there must be something very wrong with it. And I mean, I'm a 14 at the moment. It's not where I want to be. And if you've been watching my vlogs, then you know that I'm trying to diet. But no one other than you has a place to whinge about your size and your weight. And it really, really hurt. And it's still... It's still playing on my mind and it's still making me feel like shit. And I don't want to eat and I, I... Oh, it's pathetic. It's pathetic that I've let me, let myself get this worked up about it and this annoyed about it. But I was literally on the verge of tears until I came home last night and had a long bath and just kind of wallowed in self-pity and loathing and... I've calmed down a bit now and I'm more angry again, but I just, I don't see why people feel that they can comment on things like that, especially to someone they don't know. Maybe if you've got a close friend and you, you know, can joke about these things. I don't know if she said it to be funny or to try and have a laugh, but you just don't, you don't, you don't say things like that, but... I don't know I just feel like crap and I can't shift this feeling and I don't like it it's just crap people can be crap at times they can be really horrible and mean and inappropriate and I shouldn't let it get to me and I know that because everyone who commented on the Facebook status I put up about it has said that and I know it in myself but for some reason it's always the negative comments that stick with you the most and play on your mind and she I mean who is she to say things like that she doesn't know my backstory she doesn't know what's happened to me in the past she doesn't know if I've struggled with weight if I've had a baby a few months ago you just you just don't do it so yeah I feel like shit feel really, really low and really upset and really crap. And I've not felt like this for a long time and I don't like it. Just don't ever, ever comment on anything like that to anyone you don't know.
and most people you do know either. The bonus that has come out of it though is that I have realised how truly lovely some of my friends are because they have put the nicest comments on Facebook. So if you have done that, thank you. You've really helped. Um, I'm leaving it at that because I'm going to get upset in a second and Arthur wants me. So, yeah. I just needed to get that off my chest. Thank you for listening.